On behalf of Logos TV family, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a blessed Advent season. During this time of the year, many of us are celebrating the blessed event of the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and the New Year as well. But also we can't forget our brothers and sisters who are suffering throughout the world and especially in Egypt. At this time, unfortunately, the Feast of Nativity this year will mark the sad events of Nag Hammadi as a one year anniversary. And there are many other events that went on throughout the year. The Coptic Orthodox Diocese of Los Angeles, Southern California and Hawaii wishes to enlist your input and your help. The diocese has come up with a joint statement that was formed by the blessing of their graces, the bishops, and on behalf of their graces, let me read you this message now. As the world follows the unfortunate events affecting Christians in Egypt and experiences the pain and injustice they face because of their faith, the Coptic Orthodox bishops of the United States, including their graces, Bishop Serapion, Bishop Yusuf, Bishop Macarius, Bishop David, and Bishop Michael have called for a day of prayer and solidarity on Tuesday, December 14th, 2010 at 10.30 a.m. Their graces continue and write, confident in the promise of God that the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church, in Matthew 16, 18, all of the bishops, priests, and people will celebrate divine liturgy on this day to express solidarity with Christian brothers and sisters in Egypt who are undergoing painful circumstances because of their faith. This day of prayer and solidarity is an ecumenical one reflecting the words of St. Paul the Apostle when he wrote in his epistle that there should be no schism in the body, but that the members should have the same care for one another. And if one member suffers, all the members suffer with it. Or if one member is honored, all the members rejoice with it. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 25 and 26. On this day, there will be a joint prayer at St. Vartan Armenian Cathedral at the corner of 34th Street and 2nd Avenue in New York. In addition, all Coptic Orthodox churches in America will celebrate divine liturgies on the morning of Tuesday, December 14th. We call upon all members of the church to pray for Christians in Egypt. We call upon anyone who wishes to express feelings of outrage and solidarity with our brethren in Egypt to be objective and do so in a manner worthy of the Christian teaching of our Lord Jesus Christ. We call upon everyone to pray for the following. One, pray for the peace of the church and for our beloved Father and Shepherd, His Holiness, Pope Shenouda III. We pray for the souls of the martyrs and their families and those who are unjustly imprisoned, injured, and all who are suffering. Pray for peace and security in Egypt and for our beloved president and all officials. The statement is signed by their graces and may be found at the website of the diocese, lacopts.org. Now, the diocese wishes to enlist your help. If you have any ideas of how we can show this solidarity, as long as it is done in a Christian way, in a respectful way, please email us or write us at the station so we can gather your ideas. If you wish to start a letter campaign or an email campaign or anything else, you may write us at, uh, here at the station. E our email here is logostv at logoschannel.com. Logostv at logoschannel.com. Also, there is an idea we wish to hear your feedback on. It would be great if we can gather all the priests of the diocese under the auspices of His Grace Bishop Serapion here locally in Los Angeles and bring all of our congregations together in one place 
in marking a prayer service of the martyrs of the 21st century, the martyrs of Nag Hammadi and Al Qush and elsewhere. This, of course, will take a lot of planning and a lot, we will need a lot of help. If you have expertise and you have dealings with, lo with local officials, we would love to have this day to include everyone, our brothers, the Catholics, the Protestants, the Orthodox. We would love to invite the local officials and have this day as a show of solidarity with our convicted and martyred brothers and sisters abroad. So if you wish to help or you have the necessary expertise, please write us. We need to form a committee to find a place large enough to house maybe 5,000 people. And we need this to be done around the time of the anniversary of our fallen brothers in Nag Hammadi. So it may take place in January or February. We would love to do this on a Saturday night or a Sunday night, according to the availability. So if you can help, please email us at Logos TV at logoschannel.com. Thank you for watching this message, and we look forward to your response. May God bless you. <music>